Well, hello everybody. I know it's bright, so I got it. You know, I'm here working in the garage. Where I thought I'd bring you the project I've been working on. Uh, and uh, reason that I'm doing what I'm doing is uh. This is the oil, as you can see it's very thick, it's almost like honey, you can see it coating up there. But, yeah, this is the gear oil out of the transmission. And this is a clear glass, as you could have seen when it started. But that's only got 500 miles on it. So, I noticed there was a little bit of wine, I got some seeping out of some seals, so... I don't know if it got over hot, I, but then again, I'm... I could talk about doing the video about going down to Texas, but, uh, yeah, this is part of the deal, it's, so I figure I'd take it apart to look at it, and so it's been fun, it's been on here for 20 years, everybody that knows me knows I built this bike, and, uh, Took a lot of care doing it over a long period of time, but uh, it's never been apart. Once I put it together, put all the pieces together and got it running, it's been flawless until this point. And I know what happened because I got in there and pulled a piece off and found uh, what happened down at the campground in uh, Moyers, Oklahoma was where they fucking put us after scheduling our campground months in advance we got fucked and they put us off in a fucking place heard us from everybody else and it was like talcum powder dust so it got into the vent plugged the vent overheated the transmission but with that this is what I've been busting my knuckles on this is a three inch belt drive from Karata you can see the little karate man. Well, you probably can't see it because all the damn white. But there's a little karate man here. It's the Intimidator series. Uh, what we have here for the clutch is the Ribera Primo Pro Clutch. They've been around for a long time. They're a racing clutch. A lot of Harley guys used them back in the day. They're, they're, the, they're the tits, man. I like tits. <laughs> I don't ever tell my wife that, but eh, I like tits. As much, as much as the next guy. But, uh. I don't know if anybody's ever seen a dry pro clutch. Back in the once upon a time for shovel heads, you wanted to modern update your clutch system to get rid of the five or seven finger clutch basket you went to a simplified clutching system and this is how this works this is obviously the last plate it's the thickest spacer plate these are all the clutches they still look pretty good and the spacers in between well, let me see what was that plate count I see this is the seven count plate but what makes it really nice is this piece here. This plate, when it goes on, here's the nuts that hold it on. Put up. This plate goes on. Then the pressure plate goes on, because that's the pressure plate. And then this goes on. You don't need any special tools. You could just sit there, undo them, and pull this whole clutch basket apart doesn't need any special tools which is nice it, it, you've never ran one or messed with one they are sweet but that's how pretty much this goes I still got to uh, get in here what is that an inch and a eight comes in here gets this nut off once you take get that the whole rest of the basket will come out but uh What's always fun was this big bad dude here. This is the one that's been giving me issues. So I finally uh, went old school scorched earth on it, which I didn't, not to damage you, but. <laughs> 
just like any garage mechanic, you uh, got to do what you got to do, which obviously wasn't that not an ordinary. But uh, this is a one and five sixteenths nut, and that holds the front pulley. And the pulley goes on here, and this is actually a dual plate pulley. If you look back here, you'll see there's a whole another little plate here. Well, in the inside, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's three Allens, and that holds this on the splines. That's what holds this pulley together. So it, it's, a, it's a good design. Uh, but to get this damn nut off, and yeah, I boogered it a little bit. I'm going to have to put a file to it and clean that, just the edge of it up. But, uh, I had to heat it with a torch. No, I put my torch up. Uh, so I had to heat, heat it up with a torch and get it good and warm. And then put the socket on it and spin it off. I got a half inch drive, 440 uh, electric impact. And that's pretty much what I need around here. I, you know, I'm not doing any major stuff. I could probably could have used a bigger one, but... And my air compressor isn't big enough to run air tools, so that's why I got a lot of electric tools. But now I got a big half-inch drive that I use and probably use it to get this off. But it's interesting to have people take a look and see the stuff that you're busting your knuckles on. But it, you take your time. You know, garage mechanics, we are what we are. You know, nothing but a three inch belt drive. Pretty simple setup. This plate here is about an inch and a half to two inches thick, and it is a solid one piece aluminum backing plate. This fucking thing probably weighs about 20, 30 pounds, if not more. But I'm going to go ahead and take this plate completely off and, uh, probably put a motor plate on, put a spacer plate on, and get rid of that backing plate. Because it's hard to service, you can, you just can't get through. You gotta try to come in through the other side, and it's just, it's, it's a, it's a service nightmare. Now, if I had just a motor plate, which just, you know, basically it comes around, it's just nothing but a motor plate. But this was gone, and then a, what they call a bearing plate, bracket, just a bearing plate, it's just a thin piece of aluminum that bolts in with a bearing in it that allows this to sit and ride without putting any stress on it, so you don't put stress on the, uh, the, the output shaft, so, but yes, this is what I've been, when I say, I point back and say I've been working on the 72, this is what I've been doing. I, I got to work on my transmission. I got to put in gaskets and seals and uh, all the normal shit I got to get in because I got the Rockwell uh, gears in it. So, but yes, this is an awesome little setup for a Rivera Primo Pro Clutch. Yeah, they're, they're a sweet little setup. Parada, I, I like the setup. You could go with Belt Drive Limited and all that stuff, but I settled for the Karata, and uh, it been, it works fine, it works great, I have no issues out of it, and that's a Karata final drive, so it's a belt drive, this is a 1972 FX Super Glide, in October of 2000, I had a 17 year old kid hit me head on, and laid me up for a couple of years, I had to learn how to rewalk, and it got, it tore up my leg, crushed my foot, Got my ribs, knocked all my teeth out, smacked my face up a little bit, you know, cracked and broke some stuff, and, you know, uh, but I, that was, uh, the last year after that, because they considered a total, a complete total, they paid me for the bike as a total, and I just turned around and rebought it back, just, it, it was a wash, so it's what they used to do back then, it was basically just a wash. They paid for all the towing and the storage while I was laid up. 
and then until I could get it back, and some friends of mine went and got it back, like, a week or two after I got out of the hospital. Had, had, had to get emergency surgery and all that shit, so. Uh, but yeah, this is what I built. And it's got a 77 front end, and an 84, 83, 84-ish Sturgis. This is, uh, anybody remember, knows anything about Harleys, the 72 was a real narrow in here uh, at the swing arm, at the bolt, where it bolts together. So I got a uh, swing arm because I wanted a belt drive and it's got a disc. You can see the caliper up over there and, and went away with the chain and the drum together. So it, white, it had to white it out and offset it. It, it was an engineering thing. I had to really do a lot of researching and looking. I knew what I wanted. I kind of know the engineering. I'm just a garage mechanic. I'm not a rocket scientist, but I know motorcycles. Motorcycles are my thing. That and semi-trucks. Just things I'm into. But I knew I wanted to go with belt and disc on the final. I knew I wanted to go belt with the primary drive. So, then you can see the little Karata guy here. Uh, so it's Karata. It, it's a, it was a one-piece system, and they were the ones that had the actual system that was a one-piece complete system 20 years ago. So, uh, yeah, it's basically you got a, a Sturgis back in. It's basically when Sturgis built their belt, when Harley built the Sturgis, if you go look at the Sturgis for the shovel head, it was the last year of the shovel at 83 and 84, when they came out with that Sturgis, which was the original night train, the black on black shovel head. This was the configuration. Instead of going with Harley, I went with Karada, because Karada was making aftermarket, and they had exactly, they knew what I was doing on a custom build. So it was it, it was something that was done. The only thing that had to be re-engineered was we had to shave the pivot for the uh, swing arm and uh, reset it for the seals and the pivot bearings. So all that had to be reworked. Once I get this off, I'll show you again because the transmission had a lot of work done to it to go from a chain final to a belt. We had to shave everything off of the, the whole front of that four-speed transmission because this is a four-speed transmission and when you work on this kind of stuff make sure to tie your because if you're working on a table no matter what table you got make sure that you tie it all down you'll see that the rear wheel is actually tied down so it won't spin and uh, I, I'll take zip ties and I'll lock down the brakes on it because I don't need it anymore I don't need to do that because that's the hard, that was the hardest part. But once I heated that up, put the impact on it, zipped right off. Uh, you don't want the bike, obviously, to fly off the front of the fucking thing. Or back, or however. But you want to bind it so it doesn't, so you can take everything apart. So it doesn't spin on you. It, it binds it all down. But, this is my 72. This is what I've been working on. Right behind me here is my 66 uh, Triumph. So I'll, once I get done with this and get it to where I can, I'll bring it back down, park it, and I'm going to start working on it. i got to do electronics on this one. Uh, but yes, this is my 1972 FX Super Glide. 77 front end, Sturgis rear end. Not complete Sturgis, but uh, Sturgis style. So disc brakes, the thing that's original from the original crash, uh, all the, the tanks and uh, oil bag, battery box, and the fender, because the, the accident just tore all that shit up. These are aftermarket. I uh, just went back with the Fat Bob style. Uh, went, these are not unique pieces. No, the tank on this one is unique. This is the one off. But I wasn't going to go that far as to start doing a whole bunch of one-offs. 
my one offs are all right here. This is this is nothing that belongs on this bike. The frame, the engine, and the transmission were the only things that were salvageable. It tore the tank off of it. It ripped the fuel tanks off of it. It twisted the fenders. It took the front end, shoved it underneath the box, and uh, twisted it. So when we uh, did a grid box and checked the frame. Surprisingly, the frame survived. That, that was the biggest surprise out of this whole build. Was it was surprised. And I don't know if anybody knows what a grid box is. But it's basically setting out one inch squares on a concrete floor. Putting it on a milk crate. Shimming it with levels. Making sure the whole bike, the, the frame is absolutely level. And then taking a rod and putting washers to it. Make sure it's centered, and then dropping a rod down through the center of it, through the center of the neck, and see if it goes one way or another. If it's, it's dead center where it's supposed to, and it, you just build a grid box on the ground. Now, remember, I'm a garage mechanic. Motorcycles are my thing. <laughs> so these are old-timey tricks. And a friend of mine got me, had messaged me and said, you know, I should do a video on who I am. That way people get an idea of why I, I do what I do, say the things that I say, have the ideas that I have, and I will do that. But you did, to build a grid box, it's, it's nothing. A lot of guys would find it complicated, but it's just math. It's, all, it's just building a math box on the ground and checking trueness. Uh, guys can do it now with lasers. I don't, I don't have time or energy to go buy that shit, so... But I don't need to. I hopefully I'll never get in an accident again. Knock on wood. But uh, yeah. 77 dual disc come off a of 77 super glide. Uh, had to rework the lower part of the uh, stops on it so I could put the original 72 on it. I got a lock, so uh, you can lock the neck on it. So it's got still. Unless you know what you're looking for, you'd never know what it really truly is you'd have to talk to me to see all the intricate parts but yeah the 72 72 72 frame everything else you know gma bdl karata and everything else it's all powder coated none of this is painted none of these pieces are painted they're all powder coated but i got a real good deal on a guy with an industrial powder coating and uh, I gave everything to him. He powder coated the whole thing, engine, the jugs, everything. He powdered the lower legs, and it, it's got weird little patterns in it because it was industrial instead of automotive. So, but it's been durable. It, it's got a hell of a coating on it. it. It's got. It's not as durable as whatever for gas, but it, you know, it's it's kept the metal from getting fucked up so but yeah this is my 72 this is what I've been working on when I say I've been working on it I've been working on it but yeah I uh, finally got the nut off of it <laughs> and the pulley that was my uh, uh that was my uh <laughs> fucking thing I busted I bust a lot of knuckles but yes Heat that up really well, especially if you Loctite the shit out of it. Just heat it up with your just little bottle torch. Get it good and warm. Put an impact to it. Fucker come right off, man. It'll do it every time. Take your time when you're working on your bike. Sit back, look at it. Be surprised what you can do. Oh, yes, it is a, a suicide jockey. That's when I put it together. That's what I put it together as. I'll probably change all that because she's been wanting to ride it. Yeah, I see the pipes on the other side. They're straight down to the ground. So, but yes, this is my 72. This is my what I've been working on in between videos.